In this video, I will be showing you how to work with point clouds in MicroStation Connect Edition. First, we need to create a new file. We will name it Window Modeling and we need to choose the most suitable seed file. In this case, it will be Freedom Metric Design. We can create the file and then we need to adjust some things. First, we go to the Level Manager. It is right there. And we need to create some new levels to be used for our point clouds and some other elements. First, we need a level for uh, point, point cloud itself. We'll name it point cloud window because this point cloud will contain mostly windows. Then uh, we will create a new level. Let's call it clip. I will explain that later. And then some level for window itself. We can play with the colors. Uh, I recommend changing the transparency of the clip to 50%. and the color of a window to something more bright. Point cloud and clip can be left uh, as defaults. Let's close the manager. Then uh, we need to select our clip uh, level as active. We should open the level display view it is uh, located in the primary section and then we double click on the uh, level of our choosing. We can dock this window at the side and maybe adjust it a little because it's taking too much space. And then uh, we are going to attach our point cloud. Attach tools are located in the primary section of the modeling uh, workflow. If uh, we have different workflow, then we might need to change it to modeling. Um, Extend the attach and then choose point clouds. The point clouds manager will be opened and uh, from there we can attach our point cloud in POD file format. Hit open and then we need to uh, change some settings of this particular point cloud. First we select the file, then uh, we should disable snapping to the point cloud, locating the point cloud and leave the anchor or uh, basically the pin uh, of the file locked because it will prevent from accidentally moving the cloud. Then to increase the um, usage, uh, we can disable uh, visibility of the cloud in views that we will not going to use. 
So in this case, uh, we will leave the cloud only in three first views. Then we will uh, hover the mouse over this bar and right click and then choose level. This will allow us to select the level at which the point cloud is um, assigned. If we left click on this, then we can choose different level from this cloud, uh, from this window. And then our file is set up. We can close it. And then in order to see the cloud, we use fit view. It is visible. We need to do this for each view separately. And now what we need to do is to adjust some settings for a view to make it more suitable in working with point clouds. We go to view attributes and then we should disable grids because it will obscure a view and uh, to actually increase the visibility of the elements uh, we should enable default lightning and uh, then if need be adjust the slider. As for the appearance of the point cloud itself this uh, point cloud style section appears only when some point cloud file is attached. So in this case, um, we need to choose how our point cloud will look like. We can choose a color if our point cloud has a color or intensity if it's only a grayscale. In this case, I will choose intensity and then we can close this window. Unfortunately, we need to do this for each view separately. Then, if we have uh, our view set up, then one more settings that we should change is to camera, because in, by default MicroStation will use the perspective view and we should switch uh, this to camera off and click somewhere in the screen. We should do this for all views that we have um, perspective enabled. Then last thing uh, that we can do is we can reopen the point cloud manager, select the cloud and adjust the size of the points by choosing line weights when the cloud is selected. I recommend going with one or two depending on the uh, number of points we have in our cloud. Then we have everything set up and ready to uh, start modeling.